हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ गौरव जगदीश पाठक आई एम वर्किंग विथ एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर योला विथ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग थर्मोडायनामिक्स टुडे टॉपिक ऑन विच वी आर फोकसिंग इज मेजरमेंट्स ऑफ फ्रिक्शन पावर फ्रिक्शन इज वन काइंड ऑफ फोर्स ऑल ऑफ इन नो एंड द मेजरमेंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन इज नेसेसरी एज द हीट डिसिपेशन and the frictional power are interrelated here the performance of an engine is evaluated on the basis of specific fuel consumption brake mean effective pressure specific power output and specific weight these are the some parameters on which the frictional resistance is depends on the engine the basic measurements of engines are to undertake or to evaluate the performance of engine all almost all the test are following such as the speed fuel consumption air consumption smoke density brake horsepower indicated horsepower heat balance and exhaust gas analysis these are the some measurements or parametric measurements in which we can calculate the total heat loss or total power loss into the frictional resistance now how we can calculate the fuel consumption in measurement that is the fuel consumption on an engine is measured by determining the volume flow to given time interval and by multiplying the specific gravity of the fuel which should be measured occasionally to get an accurate value another method for the measurement of time required for consumption of given mass of fuel and the measurement of air consumption can be seen with in ic engine particularly that is the satisfactory measurement of air consumption is quite difficult but the flow is polystating due to the cyclic nature of the engine and because of air combustible fluid therefore the simple method used to the orifice method and it is the in induction pipe is not satisfactory then it is reading will be pulsating and unreadable the various methods for meter use in air flow measurement include air box method and viscous flow anemometer the brake power measurement involves the determination of torque and angular speed of the engine output shaft the torque measurement devices are called dynamometer while the dynamometers can be broadly classified into main two types these are power absorption dynamometer and transmission dynamometers now what is the power absorption dynamometers we can see these dynamometers measures and absorbs the power output of the engine to which they are coupled the power absorber are usually dissipated as the heat by means of some external source for example such dynamometers are brakes rope brakes hydraulic dynamometers etc now what is the kind of transmission dynamometer we see in transmission dynamometers the power is transmitted to the load coupled to the engine after the indicated on the some type of scale these are also called as torque meters now what are the prony brake dynamometers one of the simplest method to measure the brake power that is output is to attempt or to stop the engine by means of brake on the flywheel and measure the weight on which the arm attached to the brake with which it can be supported as it tries to rotate with the flywheel it consists of a one wooden block mounted on the flexible rope or the band of wooden block when it is pressed into contact with the rotating drum the engine torque and the power is dissipated into the frictional resistance and the spring which is loaded is locked the moment on wobbling side or provided to tighten the wooden block hence hence the increase in the frictional resistance is occurred in front of your screen you may see the prony brake dynamometers which are weight hangers hooks and brake shoes are attached in prony brake dynamometer brake power can be calculated with the formula 
PV is equals to 2P and T and the different torque, weight and length is radius of W has been indicated by the weight and applied at the radius length L. Now, in total braking system, how the measurement of friction power can be calculated? The difference between the indicated power and the brake power output is in the engine is the frictional power. Almost the invariably, the difference between the good engine and the bad engine is due to difference between the frictional losses. The frictional losses are the frictional losses are ultimately dissipated to the cooling system and exhausted as appear in the form of frictional heat and this influences the cooling capacity which required more lower frictional means availability of more brake power. Hence, the brake specific consumption is low. Now, why, what kind of test we can carry out is the Morse test. The Morse test is applicable only for the multi-cylinder engine. In this test, the engine is first run at the required speed while as the output is measured, then one cylinder is cut off for the short circuiting the spark plug by disconnecting the injector into the case maybe. And in this case, the engine is first run at the required speed while as the output is measured. Then one cylinder is cut off short circuit spark plug or by disconnecting the injector in case of maybe. Now what is indicator power of the brake system? That is the power developed in the cylinder is known as the indicator power which is always measured in terms of horsepower and it is always designated by capital IP. The IP of the engine in the particular running condition is obtained from indicator diagram. The indicator diagram or we can say as plotted on pressure volume diagram that is PVTS chart on the one cycle that load is drawn with the help of indicator fitted on the engine. The construction and use of mechanical indicator for obtaining the PV charts is already we can see. The area of position loop and negative loop that are measured with the help of plane meter and lets the, the AP versus APR respectively. The net positive area can be shown. Now, what are the basic difference between frictional compression and expansion stroke which are happen into the IC engine in the line diagram when the piston moves from TDC to VDC the intake and exhaust strokes are carried out and the frictional power which is lost are shown in the graphical presentation. Now, what is the effect of all these brake power, indicator power and frictional resistance on fuel consumption of the IC engine that is the glass vessels of 100 cc and 200 cc capacity are connected between the engine with the main fuel tanks through the three way cox. When one of the supply is the fuel engine is other being fitted, the time for consumption of 100 to 200 cc fuel is measured with the help of stopwatch. A small glass tube is attached to the main fuel tank as shown. When the fuel is to be measured, the value of close so that the fuel consumption is to be brutal. The time is known as value of fuel consumption can be measured and fuel consumption rate can be calculated. Now, Frictional power. Frictional power in includes the frictional losses and the pumping losses during the suction and exhaust stroke of the piston. It must be moved against the gaseous pressure and power required to do this and this is called the pumping losses of IC engine. The frictional loss is made up of energy loss due to frictional between the piston and the cylinder wall in which the piston ring and cylinder walls are between the crankshaft and camshaft. They are bring as well as by the loss incurred by the driving essential accessory, such as a water pump and ignition unit. These are the scientists which invented these methods is Williams Lines method and it can be calculated such formula to calculate the power and the frictional losses into the engine. It plotted the charts and various output comes from these again the fuel consumption versus power in HP input and the continuous the tendency of the chart in front of your screen you can see it is continuously going on vertical side and it shows the points on different lines that the power consumption will be takes place at the more fuel losses as the speed is going on increasing. Heat balance sheet is the performance of engine 
and it is usually studied by the heat balance sheet. The main concept of the heat balance sheet is to equivalent the effective brake power and the work put output from the engine. Heat rejected to the cooling media, that is atmosphere, and heat carried away from the engine with the exhaust gases and uncombustible losses. Now, this is regarding all about the consumptions and various fuel brake power and frictional losses into the engine. We will see another topic in next video. Thank you.